Out here working on the ranch. Pacific Pines Ranch. So today we are working on the second floating balcony, which is just behind me. Well, it's not behind me yet, but it will be. And yeah, so we're just cutting all the steel, measuring everything, doing the 45 degree angle on the C-channel. It's gonna be loud in a second. And after that, I will weld the frame together and weld it onto the C-channel of the container. So here we go. Before we get started with this video, I would like to explain our design a little bit. We have eight balconies planned for the whole house and eventually this container will be on the second level and since we have so many balconies everywhere, we decided to make these on the smaller side just because we have them everywhere. <laughs> and you'll understand why we made these on the smaller side. I also wanted to go over the word cantilever. There are three different types of cantilever, as you can see in this photo. Check out the link in the description for part one of building a cantilever balcony. All right, so we finished for the day. I'm just gonna try to get inside the container to show you what we did. These little bugs everywhere drive me nuts, biting me. Cause then when I'm welding, they just make like a, a swarm around my face. Anyways, so we finished the second step out balcony. Well, no, the frame of it, I should say, finished for the day, but this is what we did. We got the first part of it set up. Pretty happy with it. Uh, the next thing that we will do is add the other reinforcements and the parallel channels. Sorry, my brain is just fried right now. Long day. And yeah, now we're gonna take the peanut to the beach and enjoy the sunset. All right, so the second balcony, we're doing the same thing as the first one that we did right here. The only thing that's different is it's a little bit bigger in length. So today I am going to be welding these in place. And I don't know, I think that's all we'll get done for today. So that's what we'll be doing and hopefully it'll go well. We'll see. Here we go. So me, I'm going to get my welding gear on and Vyant, he's already ready to go. He's gonna grind down all of the spots here to roll. for where I have to weld, remove the paint and all that. So while he works, I'm gonna gear up and then we'll I'll get to work. What the heck? Look at that. I'm glad that the house will be like tight still, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. We've seen way scarier things in the desert. That's what you get when you live in the woods. All the reinforcements are welded in, just finished. So now we are going to work on placing the C channels, which will go on top of them and connect here in the middle and across and all around. <laughs> so far so good, keep on rolling. All 
All right, so we got the spaces marked for where we have to do the little cutouts to put them into the balcony. So Viant, he's already over there. <laughs> I don't know why he insists on cutting everything on the ground. <laughs> Anyways, so gonna get gonna do that, and uh, we'll move on from there. But today, if you can see behind me, we are still working on the balcony. Today we will be grinding down everything and preparing to get the first layer of the epoxy zinc primer. So we have quite a bit of grinding to do. I need to weld in the two C channels that will connect all of it together. So yeah, lots of metal work. Let's get to it. You recognize that sound in the background? <laughs> you know what time it is. Time to grind. So, we got all of our gear on. Just working little by little on the balcony. We are grinding down all of the rust on the steel. I will weld in the C-channel and then we will paint everything. So, here we go. crazy I got all my stuff on don't judge me be nice so this piece is almost finished but while Viant grinds that down I am gonna weld this one in place so we can do two things at once so I got all my stuff set up there Beautiful. <laughs> yeah Viant did an amazing job grinding and sandblasting everything so gonna tack this in place and get after it here we go day for us. Metal work is exhausting. But anyways, just finished welding the second T-channel in place. Gonna take a little break right now. Go eat some. For us it's lunch, but I guess it's dinner time. So yeah, everything's looking really good. But anyways, we are going to eat some of this delicious pasta and what we finished on the first level. Dinner is ready. Enjoy the view outside and uh, when we're done, get back at it. Alright, so as you may have guessed, uh, after we ate, we got super tired and stopped working. <laughs> and, of course, that night it rained, so we got a little bit of rust. This is crazy. I don't think anyone else understands this unless you live by the ocean where it's as wild as it is here. Look, this is from one night. So we're not joking when we say the rust comes overnight. So this was all covered. We covered this so it's manageable, but you can see there's a little bit of rust on the top a little bit there overall it's manageable so it's not too bad but it's just crazy if we don't paint the same day we just have to wake up and grind away all the rust that we had already grinded away so anyways we are just going to do the little touch-ups that we need to do for the balcony as far as cleaning it to prepare it to be painted and then we will go ahead get everything out to get the first layer of primer on
finally finished painting. Uh, poor Viant, working so hard. My working man. Yeah, well, Lyle, so what? <laughs> <laughs> so, let me give you a quick little look-see on what it looks like. I'm really happy with this uh, paint sprayer from Harbor Freight. I have to say, it does a good job for the price. And I really like the finish that it does. So yeah, looking good, little by little. Sorry about the noise, Viant is emptying the air compressor. Yeah, I just want to say everything is uh, going well, going according to plan. So that'll be it for the balcony. We're going to wait to put the final coat of paint until we paint the whole side since we want everything to be painted before we drop it on the foundation on top of the other two containers. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure what we'll do next, but stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.